Hello and good evening to you all and congratulations to Women in Parliament, to Savannah Koch Marin and your team for convening this inspiring group of global leaders for a successful learning trip to Iceland. I wish I were there. But I am honored to be part of Women in Parliament's original advisory council and so very proud that this important organization is growing in membership and influence. And thank you for this opportunity to be able to be with you and convey my sincere gratitude to all of you for your leadership and for your example. And President Vigdis, I especially want to thank you for your enduring service on behalf of your citizens and for a better world for all of us. Social progress depends on women like you and the full political participation of women everywhere. To fully empower women, we know we must start with a girl. Consider that the more than 9,000 women who are members of national parliaments were once adolescent girls themselves, and at some point, they were encouraged or inspired to lead. At a crucial moment, they benefited from the education they deserve and the confidence that comes with inclusion, respect, safety, and opportunity. So this year, on International Day of the Girl Child in October, we are going to launch a campaign to encourage and inspire girls everywhere, igniting a movement of girl empowerment and leadership with girls and for girls and in support of the Girl Declaration. This is an especially important moment to make sure adolescent girls are included, seen, and heard in the global agenda as the world continues to process to create the next set of development goals. So we have an unprecedented and unique opportunity now to influence the global conversation about poverty and to make sure that girls are prioritized. Because we know that a healthy, educated, empowered girl is an agent of social transformation who can change the cycle of persistent poverty for herself, of course, but also for her family and her country. In the next two years, as the UN member states deliberate the next set of development priorities, we must make sure their leaders know that too. From this opportunity and an ambition to put girls and their voices at the heart of this conversation, the Girl Declaration was born. I hope you will stand with us for and with girls. Thank you and good evening.